calculus tangent problem. This problem recently caused quite a bit of trouble for at least one of my better students. Here's the problem. If the line 3x minus 4y equals 0 is tangent in the first quadrant to the curve y equals x cubed plus k, then k is, and we're given five multiple choice options for the value of k. Let's first conceptualize this problem. This is the function y equals x cubed graph on a coordinate plane. This value, k, is the amount this curve needs to move up or down in order for this line, 3x minus 4y equals 0, to be tangent to this curve in the first quadrant or in the upper right quadrant of the coordinate plane. What we need to find is the x value or input value where the slope of this curve, y equals x cubed, equals the slope of the line 3x minus 4y equals 0. We'll first find the slope of the line 3x minus 4y equals 0. If we solve for y, we have the slope-intercept form and therefore we'll have the slope of the line. To work towards the slope-intercept form, we first subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. 3x minus 3x cancel on the left side equals 0. So now we have negative 4y equals negative 3x. So solving for y, we divide both sides of the equation by negative 4 and get y equals 3 fourths x. So the slope of the line 3x minus 4y equals 0 is 3 fourths. So if we set this slope of 3 fourths equal to the first derivative of y equals x cubed plus k, we'll be able to find the x value where this line 3x minus 4y equals 0 has the same slope as the curve y equals x cubed plus k. And using the power rule to differentiate, we have y prime equals 3x squared. The 3 comes out front and the x cubed becomes x squared. The derivative of k, whatever k turns out to be, is of course 0. The derivative of any constant value is 0. Now we set the slope from our line 3x minus 4y equals 0, which is 3 fourths equal to 3x squared. To solve for x, we divide both sides of the equation by 3, so we have 3 over 3 times 4 equals 3x squared over 3. The 3 over 3's cancel on each side of the equation, so we're left with x squared equals 1 fourth, which we bring to the upper right of this slide. Solving for x by taking the square root of each side, we have x equals plus or minus 1 half. And because we're in the first quadrant, we can ignore the negative value of x, so we're left with x equals 1 half. Next, to find the value of y where k equals 0, we need to plug 1 half into the equation for the curve y equals x cubed. So for an input value of 1 half, our y value is 1 half cubed, or 1 over 2 to the third power, or 1 eighth. So this number 1 eighth is the value of the function that x equals 1 half if k is equal to 0. Next we plug our calculated x value of 1 half into the equation y equals 3 fourths x. So this gives us y equals 3 fourths times 1 half. So this simplifies to y equals 3 eighths. The value of k is the amount of this value of where k equals 0 has to be raised or increased to equal 3 eighths. So the amount needed to be raised is 3 eighths minus the original 1 eighth. So our answer for the value of k is that k equals 2 eighths or 1 fourth. Now bringing back the graph of the curve, we'll draw in the line 3x minus 4y equals 0. Next we raise the curve up about 1 fourth of a unit and see that it looks like the curve fits our line where x equals 1 half. The graphs intersect at the point 1 half comma 3 eighths. We can call this point our point of tangency 1 half comma 3 eighths. So in our answer choices, this is where we see that k is equal to 1 fourth. And we circle b as our correct answer. This has been Calculus Tangent Problem. Thanks for viewing.